Hello friend, welcome back to channel. In our previous video, we are talking about the port number for SH. Today we will learn how to block root user. See, analyzing system 106, which I can access. And we have changed the port number to 66. And I am not passing the user, I am just passing the IP 192.168.1.106. It's asking a password. Let me give the password. Boom, I'm able to log in. But but in a corporate world, we are not using root. Root is disabled for SH only, not for all the things. We'll go into server. We'll take a backup of this file cp slash etc sh ssd underscore config slash etc ssh ssd underscore config. And here it will do 3103. 2023 and what we are making root okay now we'll go to file cd slash etc ssd the config here if you go you'll find permit root login yes so this we have to change to no okay yes no save this thing now, as you know, we have to reload the service. It's reloaded. Now, even though I'm having the password and I am entering the right password, it's not logging. Let's go and see. We'll do get permit root login is now. That's why we are not able to log into a server, even though we are having the right key username whatever okay what we'll do again open the file now we'll say yes to this for temp purpose okay then i will show you more detail on this yes okay reload the system You type the password. Let control C and two again. Okay, it's happening. So you are able to see password authentication is happening. Let me log out, clear my screen. We'll go to this and we'll save. You're able to see what are these things listening address, login, authentication, permit root login. Yes, we have did. public authentication yes okay or sometime you will be able to see password authentication so what we'll do we'll do public authentication yes so only public key authentication will be taken without with password will not should not work it's working so what we'll do see pass to disable the tunnel clear the password authentication yes so what we'll do password authentication will say no okay paste now so now it will won't accept anything with any user coming via password directly permission deny not prompting of for password if you are not having the key but if I mention Amit at the rate it will work because Amit user is going via key but if you are using root user with the password it will not work so that's how you can secure a system we'll see more detail so port we can change okay address family we can give here What's the IP range? Okay, login, sys login, authentication, permit root login, yes, no. Maximum two trials, how many try you can do? Maximum session, maximum I can have 10 session, more than that I will not allow. Public key authentication, yes. Authorization file location we can give. Okay, and do not use non host. Ignore, yes, password authentication, no, password empty, 
permit empty password without password like zero password nothing is there you just hit the enter key it will want to accept everything so in this video what we have learned how to change a port number of sh and how to make permit root login no how to make password authentication yes uh, no and only key based authentication should be accepted now we have disabled the root user for only ssh but you can become a root like i am already a root user who am i so user is not disabled only ssh is disabled for root user so that's all for today's video we'll work more on ssh see you in next video till then keep learning bye bye